Good morning, sweet ones. How y'all doing? Well, I know how some of you are doing. <laughs> it, uh, I've had many people message me. I kind of stepped away last night. Um, many of you are feeling really, really blissful. Many of you are feeling kind of like myself. Although I feel very blissful, I feel like I have, um, been ran over by a hundred Mack trucks. <laughs> um, our vessel's going through a lot of upgrades. Um, I slept for about three hours last night. Very lucid, lucid dreaming. Um, um, somebody else commented, uh, messaged me and says, Linda, is, guy is not in the same place. No, guy is not in the same place. <laughs> we have shifted. And, you know, it's very prevalent, sweethearts, at, um, you're really going to start noticing that separation of worlds now. Um, Phoenix, yep, I feel like I've been hit by a truck, yep. <laughs> Many of us have. We went through some intense upgrades last night. And it's really helpful to understand, sweet ones, some of you, um, we're saying you haven't been able to sleep, a lot of high, high energy is going through you. It's really helpful to understand, sweet ones, when you do sleep, that's when you're going to really be reset, if you will. It is, you know, we get the upgrades, we, we go through the integration, but it is in your dream time that everything is recalibrated, reset, rebooted, and, um... A lot of blissful, blissful energies. Um, a lot of changes. You're really going to, you know, you're really going to start seeing these changes now. And and with that, sweet ones, you know, that's the magic of us. Good morning, Carla. How you doing, beautiful? And so as you go through today and, you know, especially these, these next 24, 36, 48 hours, you're really going to, you're really going to start seeing this new reality, this, that is, you're going to really start seeing things morph, and, and overall, there is just a very beautiful, magical gracefulness that has, that, oh, look at an eagle. Gratitude, beloved. Um, that is really just, I don't know. I'm not even sure how to put it into words. Some things you just don't have words for. <laughs> no matter how we try, sweethearts. Good morning, Michelle, Lizette. Big hugs and blessings, sweet ones. And um, it's a very, first, you know, and you really got to look at this maybe like in thirds. You're, you know, many, there's, looking at like this, like a third of us are in a very peaceful, feeling, magical, you know, others, you know, something's different, um, you, you have gone through some intense upgrades in your feeling, <laughs> like I am, ran up, feeling like I've been run over by a Mack truck, and, you know, and then others are really starting to, to feel, you know, the chaos and the turbulence, and that's okay. I mean, that's all part of the process. And um, you will notice, sweet ones, and I dealt with this twice last night, you're coming to a point where as much love as you have that is coming up that, that maybe you didn't recognize before or... It has been, you're noticing now that it has been expanded. You're also going to find you have little tolerance for those lower vibrational frequencies and those that are in those lower vibrational frequencies. And you have to really honor yourself in that. Um, you know, I had to turn a, a gal away last night. I've been working with her and at some point... You know, and, and as hard as it is for us, you have to honor thyself, sweet ones, in every moment, in every breath. 
And as hard as it is to, you know, to turn somebody away, you have to finally draw a line. And you're going to find this more and more within, within yourselves. Like with this gal, it's like, I have helped you, I have guided you, and yet you still refuse to go within. I'm not here, and neither are none of you, to walk another's journey, sweet ones. You are not here to do their work, and you're really going to find at this space in time now that you're going to choose to walk away. You're going to choose to, to say enough is enough, and you have to honor yourself in that. And these energies are really, really going to show you that, sweet ones. Good morning, Sharon, Crystal, Julie, Shell, Jamie, Pamela, Astro, Carla, Brenda. Big, big hugs and blessings, mm -hmm. sweet Gabriel, very low tolerance. It makes it, it hard to watch your videos that, that say not to get triggered by these things. Well, I, I hope it's not hard to watch my videos. <laughs> but, you know, you are, you're, you are going to be triggered, sweet one. You, you, and some of you aren't. Some of you are just going to choose. And, you know, and that's really what the, the glory and the magic of this, the, of this total solar eclipse. It was a total reset and a reboot. And so as you continue to integrate these energies and really be present with yourself, sweet ones, honor that. And be okay with it that you may feel bad that you have to walk away or you have to make this choice or, or whichever it may be for each of you. It's okay. And allow yourselves to be okay with it. Really, you know, there is a, I guess the purpose I brought it up is this. There is a difference, sweet ones, the acting out in anger and frustration and projecting that out versus intolerance and finding your boundaries and finding and discovering within yourself that which you want or don't want in your reality. And you really have to honor yourself in that process and not judge it. Because now, especially with this total solar eclipse and this, and this reboot, you're really going to find you're going for, you know, for those who, who have not necessarily been in this space where you've been able to recognize energy, if you will, um, you have now expanded into a space where it is going to be much easier for you to identify energies. You're going to find yourselves in a space now where you're going to be able to see energies. And if, you t if any of you took the time last night to sit outside and look up at the stars. Astro, I smashed a full wine bottle. I am so sorry. That's okay, at least as long as you didn't hit anyone with it, Astro, that's okay. Forgive yourself, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, or throw the wine on somebody. <laughs> so... Don't beat yourself up. <laughs> so if you guys were outside last night and you looked up to the sky, you would have noticed that you, and that's where you can really see the shift, if you will. Um, good morning, Ellen. Hey, Ellen, you should call me today when you have a chance, please. Um, back to what I was saying. Um, you can really see just how many more starships are up there. This shift last night really, um, if you take the time to really stare up there, you can literally see almost like it's a vortex. You can literally see your depth perception, if you will. Your depth perception has been enhanced, if you will. And you can now really start to see in between the layers, if you will. And the different levels of dimensions. And that's where a lot of your vision, you know, for the past few months, you've been, your eyesight has been, all right, Ellen, that's perfect. Thanks, beautiful. You can really see with your eyesight, um, your eyesight has been changed and it's really been enhanced. And if you pay attention, whether it's at night or, you know, on the bus or in a car or whatever, if you're not driving, of course. 
<laughs> um, or just sitting out here like I am right now, you're really going to be able to see if you just allow yourself to just like stare forward, you're going to start seeing light particles, sweet ones. And a whole bunch of thousands of, of light particles, if you will. That is our true state of being. It's those light particles. And everything I've always said when you, you know, darkness is condensed light. So, if you have not noticed this, you know, when you're outside, take some time and just stare, stare straight ahead. And you will notice, not only out of the peripheral vision, but you will notice straight ahead light particles. And it's those light particles. I once said, I don't know more than once, but I once said that you can make yourself invisible by expanding the condensed light of your vessel and these light these these thousands of light particles that you're now able to see because your eyesight and everything has been enhanced and upgraded that is what your form is made up of is all these billions of light particles and it's these light particles that are all floating up here that liken it to this these light particles are like aspects that you want to bring into your future to manifest. And you can literally pull these light particles into you. In, in, into your new reality, if you will. And when you can see these light, par these, these light particles and you can play with them, you will discover that you can ask for your vessel to, you know, Activate your invisible mode, if you will, or whatever gift you want to activate. But that is really prevalent right now. And when you can see these, these, these light particles, you can see just how everything is formless and not formed. That you make the form and that that is why we say it's a hologram because... It's all light particles. You can expand them out. You can bring them together to condense them into form. And this is something that you can really play with now that it has been highlighted, if you will, to many of you where it wasn't highlighted before for you, for lack of a better way of saying that. Okay, let me catch up here. It's like, H it's like HD vision for me, absolutely. Pamela, I've always seen balls of light. People told me I was crazy. No, you're not crazy. We're all crazy. To, to everybody else, we're crazy, and that's okay. It's an honor to be crazy. Embrace it. <laughs> Embrace it. It's an honor to be crazy. We are in a divine experiment. Love to you, and thanks. Acting out versus intolerance for the contrast. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> so, you know, really, you know, especially in these next... 36, 48 hours, really be prevalent. Take some time to really be prevalent with, with, with what has been given you. There has been so many gifts activated within each of you through this total solar eclipse. And that is really going to become prevalent with you now. And if you allow yourselves to observe, sweet ones, and, you know, out of the blue something will occur or you'll do something and get a different something out of the blue that you never expected and this is showing you the gifts now that have been activated if you observe some of them are going to be presented to you sweethearts very subtly to see if you're you know if you're aware and that is really where you're going to find now you've come into a space where Everything you're going to have to be observant instead of just a bigger picture, you know, it's going to be the little subtle things that you need to become aware of and watch because that is really where so much is going to be revealed to you. Sure, on a, on a larger scale, it'll be revealed to you too. But it's these little subtle things that for some of you that have felt really stagnant, well, you know, I don't have an imagination or... I can't draw or I can't this. I really encourage you to remove that word out of your vocabulary. And 
if you may not have been able to draw before or sing before or play an instrument before you each are gonna really really find sweet ones nothing is impossible nothing in this space nothing is impossible and so just because you tried it in, in in the past I really encourage you guys to try things again because you're gonna find if you couldn't draw before, you're magically all of a sudden going to seem like a, a well-groomed artist, if you will. If you couldn't sing before, all of a sudden you're going to feel like your voice, you have been given the voice of an angel. Well, that's because you are. And so really... Really allow yourselves to really be present with these with these energies because they really are magical. Even though I feel like I've been run over by a, my vessel feels like it's been ran over by a hundred Mack trucks. I mean, I feel like I have jumped like a hundred dimensions up, if you will. I don't, uh, you know, um, it's just magical. It really, truly is magical. Where, where did I, um, where did I leave off over here? I had, oh, I said that. Sharon says things feel very different. I had a chakra balancing yesterday after the eclipse, and the woman was not able to leave my head area. She said my body wanted her to stay at my head area. She never felt anything like that. Oh, my goodness. Nando, good morning. You are so loved. Oh, you guys are so loved. We love you. I love you very, very much. And, and Emmy, yes, I saw these light orbs in the past, and you're really going to see bigger light orbs now. You know, the Arcturians really made a show yesterday during this eclipse, revealing them, their ships and revealing themselves. And, um, it's really a beautiful thing, but sweet ones you're really going to find now during this shift. It's really, really prevalent for you to feel within your heart. Those that come into your presence, the experiences that come into your presence, because now is where your tools of discernment are really going to be prevalent. And, and because the outside world is going to be morphing, if you will, in so many ways... It is going to be a necessity, sweethearts, for you really to go within and seek those answers and that validation and that confirmation. Because with this false UFO disclosure that's going to be prevalent, becoming prevalent, if you do not go within and validate it, you can get trapped into something that probably isn't for your best interest. So I really encourage you to really develop that internal GPS, that internal sense of, see, look at Mockingbird's green with me, and, and really just really get, allow yourselves to really on any being, any person, whether it's somebody that's been in this, you've been, with your whole journey, whatever it may be, you're going to start seeing a lot of morphine. You're going to start seeing a lot of changes and really, really enhance your internal GPS during this time, sweet ones. I really encourage that. Um, Phoenix, I say when the eclipse was going on due to me being in Scotland, I didn't see the eclipse, but my eyes were burning. Anyone else have this? It's upgrades, Phoenix. Um, Pia asked on... Say, commented on my post good morning or how how y'all doing she asked if something was um normal yes it's normal <laughs> there's a lot of normal what's becoming normal <laughs> happening right now carol says i got a message he sees my energy he says he sees physical if i allow it from someone who passed okay, carol i get I don't know why I, I Carol, I, I can only tell you what my spirit says, and I don't know if something's not right about that. But I encourage you to go in and listen to your spirit, not mine. Um, you can connect with anybody. If somebody gives you a message like that, know that you can go in, sweet ones, and, again, validate anything anybody says to you. 
anything because you can connect to Carol I can see each one of your guys's energies too and you know you guys are going to be presented with beings coming at you I shouldn't say coming at you coming into your presence if you will that really are going to test your discernment if you will that are really going to uh, give you the opportunity to really master yourself and these energies are really going to bring you into a more expanded version, if you will, of your mastery. And that's really the magic of this. Because everything is going to become more, well, it's going to become more magical, more gentle, more graceful. And for those unawakened, you know, the time, again, the worlds are splitting. And so you're going to... As everybody integrates differently, you know, and it's so much is being revealed and, and so many of you are going to be coming into so much more remembrance. Sweet ones, it's really, re please hear me when I say this. It is really necessary and most, most helpful if you can honor each other as they're remembering. Because... As, they, as each of you remember, you know, you're not going to... Hey, now, you don't need to bark at that deer. Come on now. And it's really helpful to know that as these memories come back, there's going to be distortions until it fully integrates. And so where you, you, you all may, you know... There's some of you that will start remembering same timelines or, or, or past lives where you were together, whatever it may be. And know that you don't need to get in an argument, you know, because you're all remembering it differently. And until it's fully integrated and you fully remember, you know, part of those energies as you remember are going to be no, that's not right because this is, you know, this is what I, this is what my spirit showed me. Know that you're both right or you're all right. And really honor that and don't, don't allow these energies as you're remembering to put you back into that space that, that you have now already released, if you will. Um, Euphoria is how I feel. That's great. I do too. My physical vessel's not very euphoric, but you know, my my spirit is very euphoric. Um, Rhonda, I felt so lightheaded for a few hours after the eclipse. Yep, you have you have to ground. <laughs> you know, you're gonna really find for these next 24, 36, 48 hours, you're really gonna find yourself going through this floaty floaty space and and whatnot. You really need to ground, ground, ground during these times, sweet ones. Um, ground all these eclipse energies into now into your vessel, into the physical reality, into the into the grid, into Gaia, and you're really gonna you're really gonna do that. And now it's gonna become even more easy for you to identify, sweet ones, when you're ungrounded. I have, I have a whole lot of energy waves coming through in between me and my phone when I'm looking. <laughs> I have all these energy waves. I've always seen the energy waves, but for myself, it's it's like they've been amplified, a, a, a magnified a thousandfold right now. That was kind of a trip. Sorry about that. Um, our new normal is beautiful. It sure is, Sharon. Emmy, I feel tired, but I can't sleep. Emmy, you will. You know, really allow yourself to ground. Go spend some time out with Gaia, Emmy. And, and Sweet Ones, that's okay. Your Some of your vessels, um, you're not going to be able to sleep. These, these energies are flooding into your intense. And then you're going to find yourself, once they integrate, you're going to find yourself is extremely tired. Really pamper yourselves. I know you guys, I keep saying the same things, and everybody else keeps saying the same things, but really... This is a this is so magical and these upgrades are intense and really honor and pamper yourselves you know you're really going to find now that 
the, the crystallining of your DNA that we have all been going through is really going to, again, be, be amplified and just really honor yourselves, you know, r really honor yourselves and pamper yourselves and, and have fun. It's going to make it much more graceful to integrate all these and to really anchor in your new realities by creativity, by having fun, by not being so serious. I love you, serious. <laughs> and so really, I don't know if you can see it, but, you know, really allow yourselves to return to that innocence, sweet ones. And by allowing your, and to return to that innocence, play, play, play. Be creative. Don't let the outside world dictate your emotions anymore. Period. Whether it's struggle, whether you don't have the money to pay your bills, whatever it may be, let it go. And as soon as those thoughts come up, as soon as it's be being presented with you, shut it out. It's no more. You know, you got, you know, creators got you. You've been upgraded. You no longer need those worries. Those worries of struggle. Those thoughts come in. Literally push them away. Don't you, you know, some of you have to deal with the issues. But for the most of us, those thoughts are just trying to distract you. You are not the thoughts in your head. You're the thoughts in your heart. You're the emotions and the feelings in your heart. And right now you're going to really find that prevalent. You are going to find it very prevalent right now that you are... And if you observe, again, that you're starting to think more and more with your heart. And that is what this total solar eclipse did yesterday. It cracked open the hearts of all of humanity, wider even those unawakened. And it, we, it put out the energies of a heart unity consciousness. Every being is being affected by these energies, whether they're aware of it or not. And if you observe, again, you know, a lot of the lower timelines are, have, have been severed. And if you really allow yourselves to, to be prevalent, to, to be observant, you're really going to see that which you haven't seen before. And that is the beauty of this. Because literally... You know, even uh, for the next 40 days, we're going to have some, some turbulence and, and some chaos as, as, you know, with change comes, comes renewal. And to have renewal, you have to have some chaos and turbulence. And that's okay. But throughout this, just really, you're going to find that you're handling this stuff much more graceful, much more gentle. You're going to find that... That fire, those fiery personalities and those fiery attitudes, if you will, are going to be much more graceful. That fire is going into your hearts rather than being projected out, if you will. So you're going to find your words, your, your mannerisms, you know, your interactions are going to become much more graceful, much more with with more gentleness and oh look it two red cardinals look at that and um so you know if you allow yourselves to observe you're really you're really not just what your physical vessel is going to go but really allow yourself to sit and be present with nature and you're really go you're really going to see just how different things really are if you allow yourselves to see it. And, you know, I encourage you, keep asking yourself, please reveal, reveal me to myself. And you're really going to see just truly how magical we truly are. And if you allow yourself, you're going to be, start being able to see your light body. That tripped me out on my video the other night. I see my light body all the time. But to actually see it on the video, it was like watching myself morph. That was a trip to me. <laughs> because, well, it was a trip to me because everyone could see it. 
Whereas before, it was just me who could see my light body. So that, and that's the kind of things that I'm, I'm talking about. If you allow yourselves to see, you know, observe and really step back and just start observing, you're going to see so much more so much more magic and you're going to see things that your logical mind is going to sit there and try convincing you that you didn't see and that's where you really that's where you have to really know within your heart and within yourself that you did see it that it was real because the second you allow your if something like that happens and the second you allow yourself to convince now nah, i didn't see that I was mistaken. You have just shut down a gift. So really allow yourselves, sweet ones, to master your minds. Because there is going to be so many things that are presenting itself to you now that, again, subtly, just like I, just like I said, you think you see something. It's like, no, nah, I didn't see that. Your mind will convince you you didn't see it, but you really did. And when you, when you can allow yourself not to let those doubts, because it was so quickly, if you will, it was so subtle, it was so quickly that you're just not sure. Did I see that? Was that real? Nah, that wasn't real. It must have been something else. Don't, let, don't do that. Don't allow that. Don't allow yourself to do that. Because you've just literally just pushed away a brand new gift. So really allow yourselves to be present and know, even if it makes absolutely no sense, it did happen. And that is you revealing you to yourself. And a lot of that is going to start happening for each of you. And that is, it's, I'm telling you, when you can allow that mind part to go and no, I didn't see that. No, that wasn't real. I'm, that was just my imagination. Well, was it? Are you sure? But seriously, if you allow yourself not to let your mind overwrite your hearts right now, you are going to see so much magic. You are going to see yourself revealed to you in ways that are literally just going to put you in a space of awe, of wonder, of magic, of exhilaration. And that's really what these energies are really going to do if you allow it. It's really just going to propel you forward into, into that, that beautiful heavenly paradise. And sure, as you, you know, as you integrate and anchor these in and, and release, you're still going to be releasing things. But if you can focus on the magic and the gifts and everything that you have, have that have been activated within you, sweet ones, you're going to see heaven literally morph right in front of your eyes. And that's the beauty of this. So, have a great day. I feel tired. Because, oh, where am I at here? I feel completely reset to zero point. Yep. That's where we've been. Gabrielle, when watching the eclipse, I felt floaty like I was a foot off the ground and strangely happy like I ate a whole bottle of happy pills. Yep. That's what these energies are doing. That's the glory, glory of this total solar eclipse. Carla, do I do readings? Carla, I do not do readings. And, and the reason I do not is, and I've explained this many times, and, I, and, and I'm not judging anybody who does. This is a personal preference on myself. I'm one of these that feel that to do a reading and to predict the future for anybody, the second I do the reading and the second you hear it, subconscious, unconsciously you have attached an expectation to it which has automatically now changed the outcome. And that's why I do not do readings. And, and this space, and, and not only that, in this space and time, and, and it's something I've always encouraged you to do, um, you don't need anything outside of you to give you answers, including readings. Because for myself, again, this is a personal preference. You know? I, I would rather encourage you to find the answers within. And, and I will always encourage that. And, you know, readings are fun. You know, um, they are. 
and they're they're very helpful. I mean, I have 27 card decks, you know, that started my journey that I used to use, and I don't use them now. Um, and readings are very fun, but I just I feel that you're more powerful if you find your answers inside because you can do your own readings, and when you allow yourself to read yourself, so much more is revealed to you than what somebody else can reveal to you. So, so no, I don't do, Carla. I really don't do those. Um, Pia, I woke up from a dream. I saw the earth and a beautiful rainbow of colors going all around it. I felt I saw the new, more powerful mm -hmm. angel. Absolutely, yes. And uh, Suzanne, exact message I got this morning. Time for rest and integration. And really, it really truly is, sweet ones. Just really allow yourselves to integrate these and, you know, really pamper yourself through them. This is magical. Looking forward to some fire after being in the realm of water for too long. <laughs> yeah, Michelle, I'm sure there's there's quite a few of you that feel that way. I see eagles and cardinal. I saw a bat and it flew in my house. You know, Gabrielle, bats have great symbolism. Great symbolism. And I would really encourage you to really be prevalent with that bat energy. And if you're not familiar with it, go within. Or if you have to, research the symbolism of bats. Um, you're, yeah, it's really magical. Um, Devish, what are you asking me why to, sweetheart? Good morning, Joshua. Big hugs and blessings. Devish says, hi, hard love you. Why? Why is it hard to love me? I think a better question is, Devish, why is it hard to love you? Honey, I don't need you to love me. I need you to love you. I don't need anybody to love me. I am love. I love myself fully. So really ask yourself, why is it hard to love you? Gabrielle, well, yes, I know nothing about bat symbol. I'm, sweet ones, everything has a message for you. Every animal that crosses your path, you know, whether it's the deer, which represents peace and calm and and um, grace, you know. But really go within and, and really connect to that energy. Do you have a message for me? Please share your wisdom and truth with me. Um... You know, you see three red tail hawks flying overhead. That's a trinity. That That's telling you there's a message there. You know, out of the blue, you know, you're driving down a highway and all of a sudden you see a snake cross, slithering across the road. There's a message there, you know, and you really just got to connect. That is really connecting to the animal, to the animal realms. And it's beautiful. It's It's really, truly beautiful. <laughs> and so really feel into the magic of these of this reset sweet ones because it is magical and really honor your body and for those that are going through the physical integration because you know some of you you know you feel the bliss and everything and then you you integrate it and then you come back down and and then you go through you know, that's when you get really tired, and that's this and that. And then some of us went through that instant upgrade immediately like I did. And um, I know a couple others that, that those of us that were in the higher frequencies that um, really went into that instant. We didn't have to integrate. We just instantly went into that grounding and and that anchoring, and that is where the feeling like running being ran over by a Mack truck is um you know we were at a high enough frequency to where we've already been taken in the energies we just had to anchor it and so really allow the magic to take place because it's there and really allow yourselves to not get scared or resort back to a fearful when you start seeing this morphine taking place not only in your physical vessels you're really gonna see um for those that have been propelled forward, um, you're really going to start seeing age reversal has now been activated. Remote viewing has been activated. you got a whole lot of gifts that have been activated, sweethearts. And, and 
if you allow yourself to really see them, you're really going to, to you're going to have visions. Like with remote viewing, you may have visions is, you know, you're in your, what seems to be physical reality right near now, right here. See, <laughs> this physical. But yet you can see yourself across the world in a whole nother country meditating, say, up on the mountains in Peru. Or interacting with, you can literally find yourself just because you're thinking about somebody across the world. You get a vision of you actually sitting next to him talking. You know, now you, now you have become aware of by location. Whether you physically are aware that you did that or not, those are the types of gifts that have been activated. You know that saying, I wish I could be a fly on a wall? You're going to, that remote viewing, you, you know, that's a gift that you, that's been, that's been activated. And you may find yourselves being able to do that remote viewing and not understanding really what is going on. It's like, what happened? Again, that's those, that's where the subtleness comes in, sweet ones. Lorraine, I just saw myself on a mountain and you have just said it. Yeah, a lot of gifts have been activated, but a lot of them are going to be subtle and a lot of them, you know, like Lorraine just said, I saw myself on a mountain and you're not really sure what it is. Well, that's because you got a lot of gifts that have been activated. Telekinesis, by location. Uh, you know, all of that. So really just... Allow yourselves to enjoy your new reality, sweet ones. It's magical. I love you. Have a great, great, great day. Big, big hugs and blessings. Let us fly together, sweet ones. Have a great day now. Bye-bye.